Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. Yesterday, it's kind of a bust. I got some things done for sure. I want to be working on priority number one and getting some of my stone up the wall tomorrow. In order to do that, I've got to sort some rocks today. But first, I want to progress on this hole here for the root cellar build. I want to start my stair process. I'm thinking of picking up some more of the resources, some more of these uh, busted concrete slabs, some extra spacing pieces. I may need to do some more concrete cutting again, depending on what I got going on through the door here. And um, I may need a couple more spikes. I had monster truck. Bring me some of those spikes over here yesterday, I think. I just gotta figure out where he put them. And Monster Truck also got me a pile of bricks we had. Um, a neighbor dropped off some years ago, figuring I could use them. If I do do mortar for the side of this, that would be an opportunity. Huh, I'll have to figure out where those spikes went, but I might get some more anyway. I just gotta see if I got my battery powered saw somewhere that I can use that. You girls ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? You're not even looking at me, banana girl. We're ready. Yeah. All right, then let's figure this out. All right, let's get it. Looking good. Load one, unloaded, back to go get some, uh, I'm gonna get some spikes in this round and continue from there. And I gotta find out what Monster Truck did with the load of spikes I had him unload yesterday. I don't see him. You found him, what? Oh, never mind. See the top of that five gallon bucket there? The mystery has been solved. Wow. So I actually might need the concrete drill and the concrete saw. That's possible. Off to uh okay. I'm getting my mind wrapped around this work a little bit more as I go. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. There's like little wings back there. You girls ready? Yes. Yeah. So last time I was able to pound some out with the splitting mall. I didn't have a pry bar. I should have brought one. But we're gonna see if some of these aren't able just to be cut out. And then, um, yeah, should work, I don't know.
So at this point I got two dead batteries, but they weren't full to start with. Got another half dozen of the big steaks. Some will need some straightening, but some look pretty good. And I got about eight of these larger nails. Again, some are really nice. Others will need straightening, but you know, I figure while I'm here, while I'm doing this, I do not need these for anything I'm working on currently, but I may in the future. So why wait till these go up to like, you know, $8 a piece? Or why wait, why wait till um, hardware stores get called non-essential and you can't buy them on eBay or something like that, you know? Why not just get them in my hand now and then I'll have them for later? So these I may actually use though, and they may actually work good for what I'm up to. We'll see. At the moment, I'm tired. Uh, if you saw Red Pepper hobbling a bit, she slipped while we were getting those uh, spikes. This should be a good amount of stuff. It'll at least get me started. Mama's gonna take a run with the truck here in a little bit. So I wanted to get my stuff moved first so she had availability with this truck. And I had my stuff ready for the day. You also saw me grab a big rock. Those, I'm replacing all the little rocks in my garden with big rocks, I got a couple of reasons for doing that. That'll be an upcoming video. And then I was making a whole other pile. If you see there behind Red Pepper, a neighbor lady wants to use a bunch like a cobblestone path so she doesn't have to deal with mud. So she ain't gonna be able to lift them. So I told her, I'll take care of that for you. So I'm sorting out the ones I need, the smaller pieces to get me up a bit, the ones with the flat edge to make my stairs. I'm also taking ones like that, setting them off to the side, and I'll haul them up over there to make her her cobblestone path here so she doesn't have to deal with mud through these rainy months. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. So now, you can see I got a bunch of big pieces with flat edges. I got a bunch of busted up little pieces. Those little pieces are going to be pretty much support. So I'm gonna go down to that deep hole where I'm below the door. I'm gonna put in a couple of those pieces, pack mud and soil and earth around between them, you know, so it becomes a flat level. Then put two more on top, bring it up another layer, layer with some soil. The soil and the clay will be pretty much a fill and those are gonna be the things that are holding the main support of the stairs. Once I get it up to that top level, I'm thinking I'm gonna measure the doorway, take one of these that's longer, and notch it out with the saw, so that way I can set it into the doorway. So it comes in flush with the inside of the door, it sticks in, I don't even know how to describe that. If my hands are the actual thing, you know, you set it inside the door, it's flush with the edges, this is flush with the edges of the ICF. That's with the inside of this thing. And then it comes out flat as a step. Put the next one on top of that, probably go up two layers and figure out how to build this thing. Um, that's what I'm working with. Thankfully, when I got all those resources from Monica, she also gave me a bunch of old bags of cement. I mean, they're kind of hard right now, most of them, but they're fresh cement. They haven't been used. Um, I can use that cement maybe to help make some of this stuff too. But I want the stairs in place so that they come out and they could be sticking out farther than where either I pour the walls or I brick and mortar the walls. I'm not sure which route I'm going on that. I'm gonna check one of my guys who's gonna help me with the lid, see what his thoughts are, have him evaluate a bit too, but I kinda of want the stairs locked in place inside of there. If down the road all these things crumble and it was a dumb idea and whatever, I can always just pour stairs in place. It's not that hard to pour some concrete stairs. It's just I don't wanna spend the money right now. Um, I wanna use free resources on hand 
So I'd rather put forth a large amount of effort than have to uh, kind of go out of pocket. Yeah, the more money I spend out of pocket right now, the quicker I've got to go back to work. I worked really hard and was away from the family for quite a few uh, weeks. I'd be home one or two days a week and then leave the rest of the week down to Lake Charles, Louisiana, clean up some hurricane damage stuff, rebuild some stuff, come back here usually Friday evening, spend Friday evening, Saturday with the family, and then Sunday leave back out, sometimes at like two or three in the morning, to be down there, get some rest, and hit a hard Monday morning for another week. Um, that's just what I was doing, and I was hitting it that hard and working that hard to buy me time at home for the birth of my child, okay? So I'm spending time in there too, you guys catch some of that in the videos, but also to get these priorities done. And the more money I spend, the quicker I gotta go back to work. So if I can just have time here, doesn't cost me that much to eat each day, our bills aren't that expensive, so if I can just have time here, use the free resources on hand to build this different stuff, that's a lot better. So I'll show you down in the pit a little bit of what we're dealing with. This will get you a bit of a better look. So down in that hole, I'll be building up layers. And then when I get to that door, that's where I'm gonna stick that piece through where it'll be flush with this edge and tied on each corner and then sticking out this way. And we'll just start building stairs from here back up. And then on each side of this, we'll decide if we're doing concrete when we pour or if I'm just gonna brick and mortar it. And that's why I've got a whole pile of bricks sitting over there and some other bricks too. That monster truck got me. That's where we're at for today. Um, again, to tie some of this together, I may need that drill to fit some of these pieces. I may need to cut some. We'll see what I have available. We'll see how far I make it. So at this point, I've built up three levels. It's pretty much just under level. And that's where I want it to be. I'm gonna put a little grittier stuff, less stickier soil across here. Measure this out, cut my piece if I can get my hands on that concrete saw again, and then lay it in place on top of some more sandier stuff here. And that should work. And then we'll start moving up from there. So in an interesting kind of turn of events, I want some stuff that's crumbly and if my stuff was dry on the property I'd be able to have some sort of soil medium some sort of fill that would be that way but with everything being completely wet right now it's all pretty much clumpy sticky clay that's not gonna work good I do have at least one bag of sand but that sand is what we use as kind of like quail litter for their nesting and pooping area 
we can kind of scoop through it like kitty litter and get the uh, little quail turds out of there. And it's a nice place for them to lay their eggs. So I don't want to use up that sand. I could use concrete because that's like a powder you could settle in. But my supply is limited. And I don't really think I need concrete here. So I actually have to go to where it's even wetter, where the creek overflows and dumps a bunch of gravel. And if it builds up too much, it messes with the road. So we kind of remove it periodically. If it gets too big, people bring in equipment and remove it. So we periodically just grab a couple five gallon buckets from there, fill in potholes and stuff around here, help it to be nice and gritty. So we're gonna go get some wet stuff that's not clumpy because it's all small pebbles and rocks and things like that. I'm gonna take a couple kids on a field trip. We're gonna go do that and then we'll be back. Just had a wonderful lunch. Monster truck's still working on his school. Some of the girls are free so they can come with me. We're gonna go get that done. So when we get a lot of rain, all sorts of stuff gets swept down the road here from the slants and wash out into here and eventually it builds up and starts backing up this way. So we're gonna grab a couple five gallon buckets of this because it's very gritty, it's not very clay. It's mostly pebbles, small rocks and uh, sand and that's gonna work a lot better for us. Well, 31 gallons quick. And this stuff looks good, check this out. This has some leaves in it too, but look at that. That is so not the soil on my property because the clay particles kind of break up and become the dirty water where the water's really brown and the stuff that gets left behind is more of the grit. So we got some of these ready to go, eh girl? Yeah. All right, let's get ready, come on. This worked out really well, meaning that both my concrete saw guy and my concrete drill guy uh, both had the stuff available and ready for me, didn't care if I borrowed it. So, got a big heavy duty cord, big concrete saw, big concrete uh, drill. So I'm ready to go here, but it's between three and four o'clock at night. Sunset's just after five. This is my last opportunity for the rifle season here. For the year, of course but also for the season. I've still got opportunity to shoot things with a crossbow, but I really want to see if I can get something with the gun. So while I want to sit here and cut this stuff up and do a good job, I also have this rare opportunity. So I'm kind of torn. I'm torn. Because if I go deer hunting, I'm not back till after dark. If I'm not back till after dark, if I do anything on here, it'll be in the dark. I've got all my resources collected. Everything's good to go. Man, that looks really good. Do you girls see that? Yeah. So I'm gonna put some grit down just to level it out. Uh, careful you can. Yeah. Yes, you may. Thank you for both asking. So if I put some of that stuff down, the sandy stuff, and then cut my stair to put in there, it'd be pretty good. And those are not stairs inside, they're just boards that were there from when I was cutting. Um, hmm. Well, hmm. It's raining. It is. Which is another good reason for me to get out in the woods. Uh, it might start snowing. It might start snowing. I hope it does. We'll see. Bugger. Do you think I should go try to shoot a deer or should I work on the stairs? I should go and shoot a deer. Go try to shoot a deer? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was just looking for a second opinion. What do you think? Go shoot a deer. Well, at least try, right? Yeah. How about you? Uh, go shoot, try to shoot a deer. Okay. 
I'm gonna get that tarp and put it over this stuff for right now. And then I'll see. And Blizzard will probably say the same thing because he wants the bones to chew on. Oh, uh, right? you want he... bones to chew on? You want me to go shoot a deer? Blizz? Hey, Blizz. You want me to go shoot a deer? Hmm. He licked his lips. Ignore me. Three. 29, 4, 43. 